if we, as the body of Christ, every member of it, no matter what color, if we are to hold this powerful thing called forgiveness and trust as the body of Christ, logically, that is what we will do. That is what we will be doing as the body of Christ, is encouraging every person to forgive in every situation to some extent. And we'll talk more about what forgiveness means next week. But that includes encouraging our black brothers and sisters in Christ to forgive those who have intentionally hurt them and those who have unintentionally stood by in silence letting it happen. Now, I cannot imagine that the Spirit of God would have us do that standing on the sidelines doing nothing to correct that oppression. Can you imagine us joining those who sit silently by and watch the oppression happen and continually to tell the oppressors, make sure you forgive? That is, uh, would be a horrendous distortion of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It would be to wield the powerful thing of forgiveness as a gun and shoot those who need it to set them free. <laughs> cannot imagine any credibility for us if we'll call for swift judges justice against the oppressed when they seek vengeance but we'll be silent concerning the justice that should roll down like living waters from the well of the holy spirit that we proclaim alive in us about the situation that they are seeking vengeance about let me say that more calmly I cannot imagine any credibility for us if we'll call for swift justice against the oppressed when they seek vengeance against their oppressors while remaining silent concerning the justice that should roll down like living waters from the well of the Holy Spirit that we proclaim alive in us against the oppression itself. If we are a community of forgiveness, if we believe that forgiveness is a gift from God to enable us to walk in the fellowship of this love in this time between the Garden of Eden and New Jerusalem, then that means we must strive against oppression. We must speak, we must act, we must do. We cannot be silent, we cannot be neutral and say we believe in forgiveness. We cannot cry <laughs> from the sidelines, turning our heads away from the oppression and saying, don't forget to forgive because we'll judge you if you don't. <laughs> By the way, this is why God moved against his people in the Old Testament and disciplined to be sure, but it was not an easy discipline. Read the book of Amos today. God does not condone silence from his people concerning pursuing justice for the oppressed. One last thing I'll say about walking in silence while saying that we are people of forgiveness. Maybe silence is not so bad. One man pressed his knee on George Floyd's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Three others were silent. 